This is the view of Lake Toba from a viewpoint called Sipansur near Lintong. This island here is not uh, not Samosir, it's in the distance. It's, Samosir is a very big island in the lake. It's just amazing. And then right here you can see the escarpment that goes up to Lintong Plateau. This is the coffee market in Siborongborong, near Lintong. And these are all bags of coffee being traded. This is uh, wet coffee that, uh, this is wet coffee that is um, yet to be hauled. And it's going to be hauled wet when it's uh, cracked, when the parchment cracks, it's ready for ha wet hauling. And, uh, the coffee's very moist, probably only dried like six hours or less. Um, and I've been going and smelling all of these bags um, of coffee. Um, and they range from extremely fruity to extremely musty. Um, uh, just really uh, amazing that any good coffee could come from something like this this lack of uniform processing and stuff. Each bag is sort of a, a new adventure. Super rustic smells. Actually, uh, this one's a little bit clean. It's really not that bad. But just a crazy place and it's such a crazy system that they're using here. Coffee is pulped and processed, sometimes fermented overnight, sometimes not, sometimes left in the cherry overnight, and then just pulped in the morning, and uh, left out a couple hours, brought to the market, and, uh, and sold. Then it's taken by the collector, who buys it here, uh, and redried. So. This is just one one station where one one collector is buying here. Uh, so we're gonna go down and look at some others, but I think we'll just see the same thing. So this is Siburangbarong, uh, Sumatra, south near Lake Toba, Lintong area. Voila. So this is at a collector's. This is actually parchment we saw them trading yesterday okay, so in Siborong Borong Market. And what you see here, these little black dots, are broca, are live broca on the um, on the coffee. There's the wall. Just just all over. So it's really like they just don't go away once they're out of the cherry. They've sort of been kicked out by the processing, but they're just hanging out alive. Terrible problem here in in, uh, in south of Lake Toba. So this is uh, another collector in uh, Lintong area. This is Opun Br. <laughs> and uh, Br, which means bird rock, since I'm from San Diego, but 
this is her name, is a mother of a whole family of coffee collectors uh, that will be going, some will be going to today, like Joner, Alfreder, Bittner. And these are bags of wet, fairly wet coffee, not yet hauled. Um, and you can see that the parchment's very intact, no cracks in it. And this is uh, Apun BR right there. Uh, and these, these ones smell pretty good. Just, uh, it's a way to check out if it's musty or fermenty. Not the ultimate test in coffee. But this one's pretty clean. Now over here, these bags. So these are bought at the market, usually from known, known sources, known farmers who bring it to the local markets and sell it. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's just awful, this bag. And um, a lot of times the collectors have loaned them money or something, or I just have a long family relationship. A lot of times they're in the same family, so. Okay, so in this room, that's Bittner, one of the sons. This is all coffee that has just been wet hauled. So it's what you see in the other room. <clears throat> it probably looks like parchment coffee, like you, or uh, like coffee red, you know, uh, from green coffee, essentially dried, but it's actually incredibly wet. Um, in fact, you can just take it. Yeah, you can just bite it in half. It's so wet. Um, so this has just been wet hauled. That's what's so different about Sumatra coffee, is you might have, you have some degree of fermentation done by the farmer. They come, they bring it halfway processed, wet, uh, maybe two hours or six hours of drawing, sell it, and then it comes to the collector where they immediately haul it, something that you never have in Central America. And this is what you get. Um, so then the coffee is dried without any protection outside on patios. In Central America, it would still have a parchment layer on protecting it, and that's part of Sumatra flavor. Um, but as you can see, there's a real mix of qualities, and um, those musty bags and those fruity bags and those clean bags out there all have ended up here together, and now they're sort of inseparable. So what do you do to distinguish quality when everything's already been mixed? It's just up to the collector, really, to buy clean coffee. When this is dry, they'll bring it back in here after being on the patio for five days, and they'll use the uh, density sorter there to do some grading. And the collector will sell it uh, to maybe to the company we're here with, Fulkopi, and then they will transport it to Medan to the warehouse where it will be prepared for export. Um, usually Sumatra coffee is shipped very moist, very wet. 14% um, whereas a Central America would be shipped at 11 or 12%. So. Voila! Sumatra. Bizarro world in terms of coffee. Everything's different here.
So this is a drying patio on covered concrete. In really good condition. You can see it's slightly arced where they put the rows of coffee. And uh, let's go ahead and let's go over here. Let's be bold and move this. Many layers. Okay, so this is already hauled coffee that's sitting out here waiting to be spread out and dry. But our uh, basically our weather's been kind of really bad. It was pouring last night, so people are being really careful about um, about letting this coffee dry. But one of the problems is when the weather's not good, um, it sits here bulked up in pretty wet stage. Um, Either, either before hauling or after hauling, uh, waiting to dry, and I think that's where a lot of the musty Sumatras come from. So, um, this is very wet, probably just hauled yesterday, and they're just waiting for sun to dry, and I hope they have it. You really start to wonder if someone should be doing um, mechanical drying here. There is some covered drying. So, independent of weather, they could be doing something like that, but, yeah, I don't know if they have the power source. You don't want to seem to cut down forest and use wood, but mechanical drawing would make a lot of sense here. So, this is Lintong, Nihota, Sumatra, coffee processing. So the weather has cleared up a little and they've decided to rake out the parchment that they're trying to dry. And oh, it doesn't look good and it doesn't smell good. It's uh, oh, it smells like donkey, donkey piss. It's really bad. But this could be from the market and not from specific farmers that they buy direct, which tends to be a little better. But if they go to the local markets in Lintong or Dolok Sango and buy it, it's a little more rustic, not the care. But it all gets mixed. That's one of the problems. So then after this, they're gonna ready to dry haul the coffee when it uh, when the parchment starts to crack slightly. Uh, only six hours, they say, and they can dry haul it. So very little drying occurs before hauling. Then the green coffee will come back out here and uh, they will um, dry it for several days down to 14% or so and then they're ready to export it, take it to Madan by truck. So. Yes, I have shots of it.